But first, we're learning new details about two children hit and killed by a car on a North County highway. They were a 16 year old girl and a 10 year old boy. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Lindsay Pena. That tragic scene unfolding yesterday on State Route 78 in Vista. The children ran onto the highway to retrieve fallen luggage. ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco joins us there live. And Rachel, these details are heartbreaking and disturbing. Lindsay, the lives of so many forever changed because of what happened here on the 78. The two kids were killed about a mile east of where I am. Their four younger siblings were also in the SUV and saw it happen. Tonight they are in the care of their father who is dealing with unimaginable loss. The family describes 16 year old Amy Aguilar as a sweet and kind soul who had an unwavering passion for baking and dreamed of becoming a chef. Her love extended beyond her immediate family as she selflessly prepared meals for her siblings. The family says her brother Alan was just 10. He had dreams of becoming an architect, possessed a unique talent for embroidery work. His dedication and love for his hobby were evident as he envisioned a future where he could retire and provide a home for his beloved grandma. The two kids were killed on Father's Day, trying to retrieve luggage that flew off their mom's SUV. Drivers on the 78 eastbound near Mar Vista Sunday evening were horrified to see children running on the freeway. There was an older teenager um, running first and then a, maybe, a, I don't know, 80, 100 feet behind her, a younger, maybe 10, 10 year old running, um, bolting, running super, super fast down the freeway on the um, shoulder. Both kids were hit by this silver car. You can see the impact to the windshield. Investigators say the driver stopped and is cooperating. I didn't want it to believe that that's what had happened. And unfortunately, that's the worst case scenario happened. Those kids got hit. Their mom, Sandra Ortiz, was put in handcuffs at the scene. She's in jail facing a long list of charges, including gross vehicular manslaughter, DUI and child endangerment. How and why the kids got out of the car and started running after that luggage, I don't know, but um, there was a lot of stuff in the car, so I don't know if they were unhoused. The family had recently moved back here from Arizona. They didn't have a permanent residence. It's unclear where they are staying. Ortiz is in jail on a $500,000 bond. She's due in court on Thursday. Reporting live in Vista, Rachel Bianco, ABC 10 News.